Yes, sir. Okay. No, I understand. Yeah. No, no, we're all excited here too. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, bye now. Okay. Okay, bye. Hey, what was that? That was a network executive. Thanks to the popularity of the first episode, they're gonna give us $500,000. 500 k imagine what we could buy with that. Wait, how much How much is a Rolls Royce? As much as I would love to buy a Rolls Royce, they said the money was under one condition. We gotta buy for mics, uh, uh, spruce up the set. But I have a better idea. All right, tell me what you got, what you think, what you think. So what if we turn the 500 k they're giving us into $1 million by betting on sports? Okay, you have my attention. All right, so just give me one quick second. Let me just try to formulate the perfect bet. Okay. okay. Just carry the one. Take account Isaac Newton the law. Okay. Just shh, silence, please. Okay. Got it. Shit! Oh my God, bro. Who, who's gonna tell us? Tell him what? You gotta tell him. Tell who what? That we lost the money. I, it was your idea. I, I thought it was a... Uh, I thought it was a lock. What do you want me to do? Well, clearly not. Figure it out, bro. All right. We well, just got to do the show until we can pay off our debt. So I guess that's what we got to do. So Fine. Let's Fine. just sit down. Fine. And let's just record the show. Jesus Christ. Bro. Who let you do it? Bro? You! No, I didn't. You, it was our money. You let me put the bet in. But you have to double just, check, you're the finance. Okay, guys. Okay, okay, just let's come on, man. Come on, man. Jesus. Yeah. Set's falling apart. Hey, guys, welcome back to Otra Noche Miami. Uh, we are $500,000 in debt, so I really hope you guys appreciate this content and subscribe and like. Um, we've got guest star Athena, our dog here. We just showered her, so she can't go inside. Lonzo? No talking. All we right. Just, we, just lost, we just lost all the money. Uh, it's, I'm not in a good mood. We, we're 0 2. It's, yeah, no, it's, it's not brutal. going well for it's us brutal. right now. It's brutal. Down 500000 Our favorite team's 0-2. Yeah. So. It's pretty bad. But mm -hmm. uh, in all seriousness, we're going to get down to this unfortunate turn of events with the Boston Celtics. We're going to talk about the game, a lot of negatives. I don't know about you, but I have um, a little rant that I want to go on. So if go you've got it. anything about the game that you want to say, I would oh. like to say my rant on your rant. You want to save your rant? Okay. Uninterrupted. Un 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 okay. Yeah, so you can okay. go and say your piece. Well, first quarter... Um, Offense looked kind of sharp, you know, we, we were moving the ball, we were passing the ball decently. Um, I think overall, as far as like individuals, Jimmy uh, has to take over, you know, when like he needs to start taking over more. I know it's the regular season, he likes to take it easy, but on games like this, Eastern Conference Finals matchup, the rivalry, we need the playoff Jimmy, man. Uh, first quarter, we moved the ball well, like I said, we, our shots were falling. Tyler Hero continued to prove that, you know, he, he deserves to be a starter. Uh, the bench unit, Max Struess, love him, love him off the bench. We need some production from other guys. Second quarter, same thing. You know, we're we're still, we're going basket for basket with the Celtics. You know, I, I felt like we were we were we were staying with them most of the game. You know, but I, I still think our defense is lacking heavily mm -hmm. from where we wanted to be. Even though they only scored like 106, 110 points, I think it was. It was a 111. 111. So, you know, it's not our defense uh, as far as you know points scored. It's more of our timing and possessions, you know, like giving up the big plays in certain times and stuff like that, you know. Yeah. So, uh, fourth quarter, th third and fourth quarter is just more of that, you know. Our offense kind of stagnated, stagnated a little bit there in the, in the last quarter with Kyle Lowry. He looked kind of lost as far as offensively, you know. There was a couple of miscommunications, him passing the ball and stuff like that. Uh, but, you know, this it's just I think I think to be honest it's just first like first couple games like just get the nerves out of the way stuff like that we'll figure it out in the season bam look better offensively in the first half defense his defense still nowhere to be found as far as what I watched um like his presence is still there but like not as much as we want it to be you know uh, we like he's not felt as much in my opinion so far in these first two games I don't like it maybe we say it's the first two games yeah. so we don't want to be overreacting but that's that's pretty much it. <clears throat> one thing I will say, Gabe Vincent, baller, 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 freaking baller. Yep. Locking up JT, locking up the Celtics all by himself. He almost he almost brought us. Well, we were in the game, but he almost got us to within reach, like as far as a bucket and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. yep. he, he by himself, he, he he really was the energizer guy off the bench. And hopefully, when Depot comes back, him and Depot are gonna be a, a nice little defensive tandem. So 
But other than that, defense is lacking. Jimmy, score the ball. Bam, where you at, buddy? That's pretty much it. That's what you got to say? That's what I got to say. All right. So I, I'm catching a vibe off of you that you're trying to keep calm second game of the season? Yeah. Yeah, no, for yeah. me, I'm pissed. There has been a feeling that I had inside of me that I try to bury down every time I try to watch the Heat. Mm -hmm. When games get down to the wire, I have, ooh, it's just a bad feeling I get that for years now, for ever since Jimmy's joined the Heat, I have tried not to pay attention to it, mm -hmm. but I have come to a realization that it hit me last night. The Heat are not fucking clutch. This team really has no ice in their veins whatsoever. Really? The Boston Celtics gave us, I don't know how many, I know you were at the gym, so you didn't catch much of the second half. Yeah, I got, I got, I got the whole fourth quarter. I got from halftime to the third quarter. There were so many chances for us to get into the game, not only get back into the game, but run away with the game. Mm -hmm. And we just squandered opportunity after opportunity. I don't know how many times we would get a good stop on the defense side, and then we would just look lost on the offense. Lost in the fourth quarter? In yeah, the, I saw the fourth quarter. In the fourth, here's my problem with the Heat. You ready? Who's going to get his buckets? There's nobody on the team that wants to go out there and get buckets. They're out there on the court looking at everybody else, hoping somebody else stands up. Yeah. You know who was our main bucket getter in the fourth quarter? Gabe fucking Vincent. And that's not, that's that's not, not a knock on him. Yeah, he is a stud. But is are we looking for Gabe Vincent to be so the one that goes about our games? Yeah. <laughs> you know, where's Jimmy? Jimmy, I get, uh, and you, you, you hit it. I get yeah. that it's a regular season, but it import, it matters a little bit. It what? matters a little bit. You gotta be, you gotta be the two seed or the six seed. Right. So you gotta show up just a little bit in the regular season, Jimmy. Bam, bam went perfect, six for six to start off the game. He was looking amazing on offense. Looking yes. Sharp. Right. He missed one shot. From there on, after he missed his first shot, he only took four more attempts. He just lost his confidence, and he was a non-factor for the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. For the rest of the on game. On both sides of the ball. On, the, on both sides of the ball. Tyler Hero, you wanted your contract. You wanted the starting spot. You got both of them. Now it's time to show up. You want to be in the same conversation as Luca and Trey? And Jaw. You had the per and Jaw. You had the perfect opportunity to, to make a case for yourself today by leading this team to a win against a team that knocked us out. But instead, you were non-existent in the fourth quarter again. Mm -hmm. Four points in the fourth quarter. Gabe Vincent had 12 in the fourth quarter. You're going to tell me Tyler Hero can't put up more than four? Especially when we had so many more chances. Another thing I want to go back to Bam. Bam got destroyed on the rebounds. And Robert oh, Williams, yeah. his own father, wasn't playing. It was embarrassing how many second chance opportunities the Boston Celtics I got. I think Noah Vonley. Noah Vonley was a new heat killer, bro. He was dominating when us, was the dog. last time Noah Vonley played like an NBA game? I don't know, man. I've never heard was of Noah Vonley like until Portland, now. Portland? I don't like know, New York? I don't know, but I'm so... And he's giving us buckets. I'm so beyond pissed. And to everybody... I'm not going to mention anybody else on the Miami Heat. You know why? Because to everybody else on the roster, you don't warrant a mention. That's how not... Actually, no, there is one more person. Dwayne Dedman. Who the fuck told you you have the authority to shoot threes like that? Who told two back to back possessions? I saw, I saw shots that, of three, that. next possession, fade away. I saw that. Ruined whatever little bit of rhythmic uh, rhythm on offense we had. Ruined it. Yeah, Ruined I it. I saw that too, yeah. That was brutal. So, as I was saying, anybody else I didn't mention that includes you, Lowry, and Strews, you had no factor in the game. Actually, no. Mentira. Lowry, third quarter, you were good. Fourth quarter, you did nothing. You ruined Gabe Vincent's hot streak. Instead of heat checking Gabe Vincent, he chucked up a three in transition. Yep, I saw that. I've been holding this in since last night, dude. I am pissed. I'm so mad. Swass, I hope you're watching this, buddy. He was he was waiting for my reaction after this. Um, I have genuinely no positives to say, at least for myself. And I know people are gonna see this and they're gonna be like, "Oh my God, here are Heat fans overreacting second game of the season." This is something that I have struggled with and I have felt for like the last couple of years. So that's what I've got to say on the game. Alonzo, do you have any? Do you have any positives to say? The only thought, well, the few. Bam started off hot. I know he didn't finish great, but that's that's you know there's signs of life there. Yeah. Gabe Vincent showing he can be a good backup PG in the league. Apparently he's our closer now too. Yeah, yeah, he's 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 closer. Um, Tyler Hero keeps putting up points, but not what he needs to. But he's still scoring the most. The, the most. I'm sorry. Can I cut you off here? Yeah, go ahead. The most. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. The, the emptiest twenty. Well, how many points did he the most emptiest 24 points I've seen in my life. I swear to God, I watched the whole game. None of Tyler Hero's 24 points came out of time. I was like, oh, thank God, Tyler Hero got a bucket. Yeah. So, go on, sorry. Oh, no, yeah. 
uh, that's, it's kind of hard to find positives when we're playing this bad. I mean, yeah. again, uh, another positive is only game two. Never been 0-2 in the Spolstra team, though, so that's why I'm a little bit more ticked. I mean, it's, but yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. Just, I think time. We just need time and and practice and all this kind of stuff. So, but Jimmy, man, I, I think that was to me that's that was the biggest. Him and Bam were the biggest disappointment last night. Yeah. Bam yep. started off so hot. He just fell off after the second half, like start of the second half. Yep. Marins was nowhere to be found. And Jimmy Bubble, like love you to death, bro. But like, where you at, kid? Yep. Uh, I agree. This is this is probably a team that we're gonna face later on, and it's gonna be meaningful. It's gonna team. It's a team we're gonna have to run through. In exactly. The regardless, if, <laughs> if we want to make a finals run, it's gonna Dude. be through them, through Milwaukee, through Philly. Through I, I was just thinking about how we're gonna look. But this, the way we're playing right now, how we're gonna look against? Philly. Oh no, against against. Philly, I mean, Philly's only two as well, but they've also played, you know, Celtics and them. So uh, they play some good games. Okay. But you know. Those are the type of teams that we got to play and, and win, you know, that we want to see play good. And, and it's just not looking that like that. It's, God forbid we play Milwaukee. Jesus Christ. Giannis is going to grab it. Giannis might, Gian, go Giannis, for might, Giannis might go for 70 rebounds, let alone points. Double-double with 70 points and 70 rebounds. Jesus. Um, I, I'm not, like, I'm pissed and I hate how we're playing, but I'm not, I'm not trying to be pessimistic. I still believe in this team. I get, you know... I'm pissed that we just ran it back. We didn't acquire anybody in the offseason, but I still think this team has the potential to to be NBA champions. We still have the core pieces. Yeah, it's just a matter right. of we just need to figure it out. It's just a matter of plugging holes and and people producing when they need to. Yeah, you know, I and playing playing to their level, not playing down to their competition. But I think that's what Bam and all the, and Jimmy is doing. I, like Jimmy, bro, he's pissing me off. And I, I knew coming into the season, you know, he likes to take it easy, but bro. You know, like I understand the first game, it was you know it was the first game, Opening whatever. Night. But yeah, but on a game like this against Boston, it's, it's like, a team that eliminated us, bro. Like I'm one I, shot away. You know, I understand the Bulls. You know, like they're not the biggest threat, but they're still a threat. We slept on them. We got punched. Exactly. Them but uh, you know, Celtics, they're a juggernaut. You gotta come in. You gotta come in ready to die, ready to kill. Yep. And we didn't do that. So, and you're supposed to be the leader of the team, and you didn't leave nothing. You led the team in fouls taken, fouls drawn. <laughs> Right. And tonight, tonight we play the Raptors. Probably not gonna have a video right away on them. Uh, probably we'll, next week, Monday, Wednesday. We'll probably Tuesday. next Old Orlando Miami episode. We'll probably have a multi-game coverage. Game coverage yeah. Um, I just do not. Just very pissed, man. The very bad energy around the heat right now. Yep. Um, I just want some goddamn Papa John's, man. I was hoping to have fifty percent off Papa John's. Yeah, yeah, hey, watch baseball playoffs. Double header. But no, 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 no. no, no. I gotta go. I'm probably gonna. You want to get Wingstop after we I'm finish so recording down. this? I'm We're so going to get Wingstop, guys. Do you have anything else to say? I think we can cut it off here, honestly. We can cut it, as far as the heat goes, I'm ready to cut it off here. But um, We already made our Dolphins predictions last episode. Uh, last episode, you should watch that. And we'll be predictions uh, tonight. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow header. header. Tonight yeah. is doubleheader. We'll talk today, about that tonight. Today is doubleheader. Uh, we got Phillies and Padres at 5. At Philly. At Philly. And we got Houston Yankees at, se at 7.45. First game in Yankee Stadium Yankee this series. Stadium, yes, Garrett Cole on the mound. Garrett Cole on the bump. Uh, I've got Astros winning the series, but I think the Yankees are going to take today's game. I think Yankees got today's game, too. I think Garrett Cole's going to show. Yep, um, yep. As far as who, who, who going for, who's going for the Padres? I don't know. I don't know the pitching matchup. I think, think, I think it's Zach Wheeler, you know? Or it might be Kyle Gibson. Kyle Gibson? It might be Kyle Gibson. I've got... No, I think it's Ranger Suarez. No, he pitched last night. He pitched, he pitched last, last night. night? He pitched last okay, night. Okay, it might be either Zach Wheeler, Zach Wheeler or Kyle Gibson. Regardless. My picks for tonight are... Phillies Padres. Padres. Tonight winning tonight. Mm -hmm. And then the Yankees winning tonight. I got I got Garrett Cole having his best playoff performance tonight. Just a feeling. Me no too. What. Me too. I agree with that. I got the Yankees over the Astros. And uh, what's the series over there in uh, Phillies Padres? It's 2-1 Phillies Phillies up Philly. I see Padres tying it up and I see Yankees taking the, uh, their first game of the series. I'm thinking Philly wins today. Take a 3-1 lead. Padres pull the Cleveland Cavaliers. Oh, my God. No, you're saying that, bro? Yep. I, I love it. I love that yep. pick. I, I still have Philly winning the series, but that's a bold I take. Got, I got the Padres winning. And so then we both, my gut. we both agreed on Astros being the Yankees, yep. right? But I, I've got – how many games do you think that series goes? Six. Six? Yeah. I think, I think uh, New York – I think the Yankees win two games in New York. I think Yankees win these two games in New York. The Astros win the last game in New York, and then they, they win the game six exactly. in Houston. Yeah. Yep. 
All right, you got anything else to say? Anything you want to mention? That's pretty much it. Gold Dolphins, the only Gold Dolphins. Miami team. I'm so excited. We might, we might have a video or something going on for for the Dolphins. We'll see. We'll figure something out. I mean, we're, yeah. we're, we're, we'll figure it out. We're, we're speeding up here. We're trying to end it because these mosquitoes are killing us yep. right now. Yep. And I'm really hungry. I don't want some moon stop. So, um, that's pretty much it, guys. Yeah. And God help the heat. God help the heat. All right, we're going to go ahead and sign off here, guys. Thank you for watching. Hold on, I'm sure Miami. We're going to go ahead and sign off. See you guys.